My name is Matti Sulanto and I'm happy to see you here on my channel. Please subscribe after this video so you won't miss any other future updates. On the previous episode, I told you about my one camera, one lens, one year project. And I also told you that I switched cameras in the middle of this project. And now I'm going to tell you why I actually switched cameras. I've had this Sony for about three years now. It's the Sony A7R Mark II with, uh, uh, with the size Loxia. 35 millimeter f2 lens. I got this camera right when it came out three years ago. It's been a fantastic camera and I've made some really nice images with it. It offers essentially a medium format quality in a much more usable package than a real medium format camera. The Sony has followed me on my travels to some pretty cool locations like Australia, Japan, Malaysia, New Zealand, to mention few. However, on a long run, I felt I needed something more compact. I wanted a lighter and smaller camera. And I also wanted smaller files. I travel only with a carry-on luggage, so every gram counts. The Sony with my preferred Loxia lens weighs about 1200 grams, 1 kilo, 1.2 kilograms which may not sound very much, but it's still almost 20% of my total luggage weight, which is 7 kilograms. Those Sony files are beautiful, but they are also huge. They fill up my hard drives really fast. When I travel, I can't have a pile of hard drives with me. And while the cloud services have come a long way, they are still not practical when you travel. You need really fast connections to be able to back up your files to a cloud service. It's not very good if one day's uh, work takes three or four days to back up. It doesn't work. I had a meeting with some Canon Finland people during the spring and I was talking about this and they offered me uh, the new Canon EOS M50 to try this camera here. Even though it's a beginner's camera, it offers everything I need for my travel photos. And it's really compact with this 22 mm f2 lens. And that lens happens to be my favorite focal length. This little Canon weighs less than 500 grams with my favorite lens. So it's less than half of uh, the Sony's weight. Now I can pack another microphone and some handy accessories for vlogging when I travel next time and still be under the seven kilograms uh, limit. And of course, when I go out actually shooting, this little Canon doesn't weigh me down at all. I can hardly notice it's hanging on my shoulder. It's also a good thing it doesn't look like a very serious camera, which can be an advantage in some situations. I haven't found much to complain about the image quality either. Of course, if I really pixel peep, the Sony files look better, of course. But when I publish online or when I print, I can't tell which camera I used. And I don't think you can either. Besides, the Canon RAW files require a lot less work than the Sony RAW files. But then again, that's a, a personal matter and it could be the other way around for some of you. So there it is, my reasons to switch cameras. I also have an update to the status of my broken laptop. And it's fixed. It only took three days at Tektor here in Finland. And I think they did a super job here. My laptop looks like new again. And I can't wait to get back to work with it.